Hey you guys, um, you seriously need to avoid the pink shirt because it's like the lighting and stuff is making it weird. I don't know what it is. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm going to try to make this quick because I'm not feeling very well today. Um, I'm sorry, I just got out of the shower. It's the only time I was able to get that done and then get this done real quick. And I'm just, yeah, I'm really overwhelmed and exhausted. Um, so anyway, I am 34 weeks pregnant today. And um, I have my next appointment this Thursday. They're not going to do anything except for check the baby's heartbeat and the length of my stomach or the centimeters and stuff. Um, basically, it's, oh goodness, it's been a while since I made a video. Um, things for the most part have just been like my, my hips have been really sore, my pelvic bones and everything. Um, because everything's stretching, so, um, but that finally has calmed down over the past week. I've felt more, um, energetic and kind of like in a nesting phase, um, so I've had, um, extreme nesting because we are actually in the process of moving and, um, we are buying a house and... So, our rental, this house here, um, we're not due to be out of here until the end of April, but we're moving into our new house this Thursday and Friday. So that way we have the whole month of April to come back and clean and stuff and make sure it's, it's almost 100%. Um, that way I'm not overwhelmed because um, of being pregnant and trying to get it. Well, I, I obviously am overwhelmed, <laughs> not more overwhelmed, trying to get it all done quickly. So I can't imagine if we had to get everything done by this Thursday or Friday, I would be going insane. Sorry, I keep like, my mouth is so dry, it's making like a smacking sound, it's really weird. So that's a pregnancy symptom right there. Um, I've just been really, really, really thirsty lately, like all the time. Um. So yeah, the past few weeks just been really boring. Um, I did have one scare where I was sitting on our recliner chair in the living room. I think it was like around 30-ish weeks or so. And um, my daughter was watching me film Emmy's um, movements and stuff. And the whole chair ended up flipping backwards and I was upside down against um, like a corner of the wall so I couldn't get out. And I was just like yelling and screaming for my husband. He ran over there quickly and um, picked me back up. But she went up so high into my lungs that I was like hyperventilating. And it actually made me cry um, because I felt so like scared and traumatized by it because I couldn't breathe. Um, yeah, and I was really nervous I was going to get up and my water was going to break or something. So, But everything was fine, thankfully. Um, and then, just a minute please, and then I, um, I bought a brace for my hips and stuff, but it ended up being too small. I, I got a large and Amazon would not let me return it, so it's really annoying, but I was like, okay, if it, it felt, it felt okay while I was wearing it, but then when I took it off, felt like I was having ovarian cyst pain on my right side so I was like okay I definitely can't wear that anymore and the fact that it was snug on me at that was 30 weeks too I was like there's no way that's gonna fit me in long like much longer so it was kind of pointless and I just stuck with the fact of not even dealing with the stress of finding a new one it's more stress than it would actually probably help me anyway so um, but my hips really they really only hurt when I'm in bed so or when I get up um, out of bed in the morning after that I'm pretty good so which is nice because with Leah I hurt so bad but I think with her I was so unfamiliar with the pain that I was sitting too much and that was making it worse so now I'm more aware and 
it doesn't hurt me so much. And the fact that I'm super active right now from moving, always packing and cleaning, um, it just really doesn't bother me. So the main thing that bothers me right now are my feet and my ankles. Um, those are hurting um, because I've been doing a lot of standing and they've been swelling up a little bit. And then the past three days I've noticed that I've been getting like really bad back spasm, muscle spasms right here and it hurts really bad. Um, probably just touching it right there is going to make it hurt again. So those have been really weird. I've never had those before. Um, but it's mostly like if I'm driving and then I get out of the van and it starts hurting. So hopefully that won't be much longer, but yeah. Um, and I think that's really it. I did actually have food poisoning this pregnancy um, just a few weeks ago. And not like with Leah. When Leah, um, when I was pregnant with her, I thought I had food poisoning with her. And I had to go to the hospital. And then like four days later, my whole family ended up starting to get sick. Um, so it definitely wasn't food poisoning with her. But this time around, we went to a balloon festival, and I ate a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, and five hours later, I was in the bathroom really, really sick. So, and nobody got sick after that, and it's been like three weeks. So, yeah, I definitely had food poisoning. I was, I was sick for a couple hours, and then I went back to bed, and then throughout the day, I just had a headache. So, it was kind of, it wasn't pleasant, but yeah. Luckily, it ended quickly. Um, I think that's it for symptoms, really. Um, and then, I for cravings, I'm still like always wanting ice cream and chocolate, um, like crazy. And then, I tend to eat like a bowl of cocoa puffs um, every evening because I want them so badly. But I can't, that's another symptom, is that I can't eat anything sweet in the morning at all, still, or else I'm dizzy all day long and I can't get anything done. So I have to stick with salty breakfast, um, something high in protein or whatever, and then eat lunchtime, and then after lunchtime, then I can eat something sweet. So it's been really hard getting my cravings. But yeah, so ice cream and... Um, chocolate and then I still want blueberries but I've been like too tired to make anything with blueberries so oh and I want cheesecake a lot too um I think that's really it so but yeah we are in the process of moving and um I felt like honestly I keep having some symptoms here and there that make me feel like I could have her within the next three weeks or so because they're just some things some things are starting to happen that were happening with all my other three about three weeks before I had them so um oh and that's one thing too is I kind of just like that's um good indication for labor getting close is that just that constant kind of sick feeling just feeling sick and weird to my stomach so that started happening about three or four days ago and it's just been every almost every day since so um but yeah I just am like always really moody too I've been wanting to go over to the new house and get things done and get make sure like it's not like I'm trying to get a room ready for a baby I'm trying to get a whole house ready for the baby so that's been really difficult on me so I've been kind of getting on my husband's case about everything needing to be done right away and it's yeah it's pretty funny and then I end up apologizing immediately because I do recognize it and I'm like I'm having one of my horrible hormonal mood swings again so um but yeah I did get her closet at the new house all done I can show you guys that later um there's just so much going on over there. Um, like my mother-in-law's there, and then the landscapers, uh, they're re redoing the whole backyard. 
And then, um, so they've been going in and out of the house too. And then my husband's also going to be off for vacation starting this Thursday. Uh, today's Monday, so he starts this Thursday. He'll be off for um, nine or ten days. They're not sure, or eleven. They're not sure yet if he can get that that one day in between his other day off. Um, because it's really weird for him to go to work for nine days and then one day go to work, be off of work for nine days, go to work, and then be off for one day, and then he goes back. So he's trying to get that one Saturday off, too. Um, that's, yeah, that's really it. I've got my diaper bag, the diaper bag packed, and then my hospital bag packed. And then this Thursday after my appointment, I have to go over and register at the hospital. Um, we're still going to try to deliver at this local hospital here because I don't know anybody at the other one. And it's only 10 minutes less of a drive than this hospital would be. So I might as well go where I, I'm used to and familiar with. So I'm going to go register there on Thursday after my 34-week appointment. And then they already are starting me on every week appointments. So I have to go back again. 35 weeks next week too and so I'm going to be doing a lot of driving back and forth for the next month. I am kind of hoping she'll be a little bit early but yeah you never know so um I don't think I'm missing anything but yeah um this is my belly she's definitely a sticky outie and she's he said her butt's here and her legs are bent up down to here and her feet and then her head, her back, and then her head is way down here. Mommy, at the bottom. can I have some milk, please? I got your water. I want you to finish your water first, okay? Because okay. you need to have water. Um, it's starting to get kind of warm where we live, so I'm trying to encourage them to drink water instead of wanting milk and juice all the time. So, um, but yeah, that's my 34-week belly. It's it's heavy. <laughs> um, oh, in my last appointment they said that I didn't gain anything. Um, I've gained 21 pounds this whole pregnancy, so I didn't gain anything in two weeks. And they said that it was fine because my belly was measuring um, 32 centimeters at that time, which I was 32 weeks, 32 and a half weeks. So they said it's fine because she's growing. So my belly's growing, she's growing even though I'm not gaining any weight, which is kind of weird since I still pig out like crazy. Um, but probably all the moving around and stuff, just being very active. So anyway, I will try to hopefully get this uploaded tonight for you guys, and hopefully it won't be too much longer. I mean, my next update, I might have already had her, honestly, since it's so crazy busy right now. So um, just trying to get these videos it's, yeah, it's hard to do. So, um, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.